Hello everyone. Nowadays, lot of members are worried about buying a new Wi-Fi routers or switches, right? So uh, it is not necessary. Today, I am going to show you how to use your old modems or TP-Link routers as a external Wi-Fi routers or external switches. I am sharing this useful information because it it could help someone. Let's get started. Recently, I have taken a BSNL fiber modem. So this modem has only two LAN ports, as you can see this in the image. So as I said, uh, they are providing only two LAN ports. I need four LAN ports for my two desktops and one for CCTV and one for my samsung oled tv so in that case i'm not going to buy a new router or switch i'm using my old broadband dealing modem as a external router switch or switch this is the bsnl fiber modem they have provided to me so this is my old dealing modem i'm going to connect this as a external switch or external Wi-Fi the first step is to reset your old D-Link modem or any router that you have so connect your D-Link modem with the LAN cable to your desktop or laptop and reset it so I'll tell you how to reset your D-Link modem so on the back side of your D-Link modem you can find reset button, power button and RJ45 ports, LAN ports. So press a very small button that you can find on the left side or right side of your power button, power button or power connector. So press and hold with a pen or pin for few seconds, 5 to 10 seconds. So all the lights on the dealing modem on the front side will blink and it will stop it means that your router is successfully resetted and op open your google chrome or any internet browser and open the url 192.168.1.1 and give username and password as admin 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 is your default password and username after logging into your dealing modem so place your cursor on the local internet settings tab and go to lan interface so and configure the ip as 192.168.1.99 as your ip address and subnet mask is this and IGMP should be enabled and apply your changes apply your changes check whether it is applied or not and then place again place your cursor on the local internet network and then go to DHCP server so your DHCP server should be disabled this is a mandatory if it is enabled please disable it disable and apply changes if you want you can go for wireless basic settings and you can give your SSID and apply changes and again come to wireless setup tab and click for wireless security and select encryption as wpa to aes and pre-shared key is your wifi password key and then click on apply changes and and come to maintenance tab save and reboot click on save and reboot so after rebooting please once again login to the d-link modem 
with the IP 192.168.1.99 so this time you are not going to use 1.1 1 .1, you have to use 192.168.1.99 as your new IP for the dealing modem and give pass password and username as admin and admin if in case if you not change your password and click on status tab as you can see here my IP is changed subnet mask is changed and DHCP server is disabled yeah these are the three things you have to check when you are connecting your old TP-Link routers or modems or ADSL to D-Link modem to any fiber network connections now I have successfully configured my dealing old modem now i'm going to connect my modem to the external switch now i'm checking my bsnl router ip settings fiber router ip settings this is the lawn they have provided to me ips here the dhcp server should be enabled and it should be disabled in another old modem or router which we are using as a switch these are the settings in fiber router so this is my bsnl fiber modem i am going to connect to the port one using lan cable and another side of the LAN cable I am going to connect it to the newly configured old modem to any port of this but I prefer prefer connecting it to port 1 and turn off both the D-Link modem and fiber modem for few seconds and turn first on the fiber modem and then turn on the D-Link modem and then you can check your internet settings thanks guys please do like and subscribe tech learn youtube channel and press the bell icon for more latest videos